we arrived here and we ended up parking in the 28B section. So it's a little bit less busy than a normal park day, but I would say there are quite a few people here. What is really cool about this event is it is a separate ticketed event, but it is open the day before Cedar Point opens officially tomorrow to the public. So my season pass did not work today. We had to purchase additional tickets. It was $25 each for us to get in today because we were pass holders already. They had a student rate if you went to OSU, which is Ohio State University, or other schools were also qualifying as well. And then parking was an additional fee. I think it was like 10 or $15. So we did pay additional to be here today, but it, we definitely thought it was worth it because we might get the park in a little bit less busy day and we get to see everything before the park opens officially tomorrow. Here we go. So we were one of the first 3,000 people to make it into the park today. So we were able to get our Ohio State t-shirts. So we got the Ohio State Day 2023 Cedar Point shirts. I got a medium and a large. We're gonna start by going into the Point Plaza to see if we can get some Wild Mouse merch. I'm so excited. Point Plaza is right when you walk into the park. Let's see what we can find. And you know what? first thing I see exactly what I'm looking for. They have the Wild Mouse merchandise. So, hello. They have it in sweatshirt form, or I'm sorry, t-shirt form. Adult sizes are $24.99. The kid sizes are $22.99. They have the Wild Mouse hat, and that is going to be $17.99. They have a Wild Mouse Stubby for $24.99, keychains, patches, lapel pins. They offer the shirt in blue. Oh, look at the cute hat. So the hat is $24.99. And then these are those coaster cutouts that we were able to get. And these are $14.99 each. And you can make a mock-up of the ride vehicles. They do have it in hoodie form and the hoodie is $52.99. Very, very cute merch. I really like the mug as well. Let's take a peek. They have $9.99 you can get a shot glass. And then the mug is $16.99. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to resist buying some Wild Mouse merch because it was such a cute ride and I'm loving the merchandise. They also have a bag and it's a thicker canvas style bag. It's also super nice. I like the quality of this and this is $24.99. They also have a child size hoodie for $34.99. Let's take a look to see if they have any other new merchandise for this season. Everything's fresh and restocked so they have all of the sizes available now and it looks like they're really leaning into just like this classic athletic look. I like it, it's simple, it's it's nice. We have some coaster gear here. It says opened 1870, 364 acres, 18 coasters, and 71 attractions. 71 attractions, everyone, that's craziness. Crazy awesome. So they do have just any type of Cedar Point merch you could want for this season. I really like this shirt up here. This Cedar Point Ohio shirt is very cute. They have a large selection of tie-dye merchandise, even tie-dyed bucket hats. And then if you come along the back here, it looks like they have ride-specific merchandise. So we have our classic Steel Vengeance, now I have to say if you're gonna get Steel Vengeance merch, I really do like the Steel Vengeance gift shop at the back in Frontier um, Town a little bit better. They have some cooler options, but there's the Gemini shirt. You, of course we have the Millennium Force gear, Magnum, Gatekeeper, Maverick, and so on. $24.99 for the updated Cedar Point shirt. We also have a Snoopy. 
So every year they come out with new merchandise for peanuts. And this is a buy one, get one free t-shirt. So if you get, if you pay $24.99, you actually can get two. Again, so if you're looking for a specific ride, if you go to the gift shop connected to that ride, you're probably going to find more theming and more options. This is a really nice like overall store, but I do recommend if you want to get some really cool specific things, shop the gift shop that's connected to the ride. All right, so the schedule of events, they do have t-shirts. They're going to have face painting, caricatures. There was a Buckeye barbecue that you could purchase tickets for, and then they're gonna do more caricatures from three to four. So we're gonna try to find where these are all happening and maybe we can check them out. So most of the events are happening here in this uh, Cedar Point Pavilion. So we are gonna head in and see if we can get our face painted. We are looking at the menu. These are the options for the face painting. All right, so I got the sunset on my face. How cool, I love it. It's very airbrush. Looks like an airbrush face, it's super cool. So we went ahead and did the face painting. It was right over here near the blue streak. They have a pavilion. So this year, if you're here at Cedar Point, make sure you check out getting your face painted. In fact, we have an entire video dedicated to face painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below and check it out. And guess who else got his face painted? He's got a super cool spider. Not just any spider, a black widow spider. Take a look, oh yeah. So the, today we're coming up on the boardwalk from the other side. They have another one of these super cute retro boardwalk signs here in front of Gatekeeper. So we're gonna probably pop into the Grand Pavilion for a little bit of lunch. The Wild Mouse is not open today, but the Grand Pavilion appears to be open. One detail that we didn't mention yesterday, they have stamped the concrete to make it look like you are on a boardwalk. Super cute detail. I really love their attention to detail and their theming here. In the pavilion, Grand Pavilion for lunch. Currently there's no wait, so we're gonna go ahead and get, maybe get ourselves a meal. There's the artisan flatbread pizza. We're gonna try the jumbo chicken wings. They had breaded cheese curds and Bavarian pretzel sticks. A really cool feature of the bar is the roller coaster out this side. So they have like an indoor outdoor concept. And then we're gonna go out onto the front patio. So there was a side patio, a front patio, and then the other side patio. So we're gonna take it out. Further, far enough onto the patio, you can actually have like a private little corner here. This is so cool. With all of the beach surrounding you, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And you forget you're even in a theme park. You have like the breeze coming off of the water. Yeah, this is, this is it guys. This is the best, best part of Cedar Point right here. And we're gonna try some foods. So let's see what, come up with. All right, so the first thing that we got are the cheese curds and I gave you a really healthy sampling here. This is definitely a shareable and it's great because it's up here near the bar. I'm gonna try this. They said that there was like a sweet spicy sauce. So let's take a, let's take a dip here. Mmm. oh yeah. Really good fried cheese. I know you can't really go wrong when it comes to fried cheese, but this gets a seven out of seven scrummies for me. This is like, if you're having a drink and you wanna have like a refreshing drink, the ambiance is like above a seven. It's like a 10 out of seven, like Anna says. But these cheese curds are really good. Highly recommend them. Crispy, fresh, and this sweet, spicy sauce. Not too spicy, not too sweet. It's absolutely perfection. And then let me try the sweet, we got the sweet Thai chili wings. They gave us, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wings. Also very shareable, large size for the wings. And I believe this was $13.99. It's a little pricey, but really for wings, wings are always a little bit more money. And look at the size of these. I mean, this is, if you're sharing snacks with your friends, we just decided to get the two items and split them for lunch. So, oh yeah. 
You can hear that crunch. And they're perfectly cooked. I love the, the taste of the sauce. It's, it's very similar to a Asian Zing. I'm gonna give these a solid six out of seven scrummies. I think this, the cheese curds are like perfection. And these are pretty close, so. I'm loving the snacks that they're offering here at the grand new the new Grand Pavilion. Okay, so one of the things that we learned today is that this upper section of the Grand Pavilion is going to have table service. So there will be bartenders, waiters, waitresses here to not only take your drink orders, but also offer you a menu. So I'm hoping we'll be able to come and try that soon. So they're really doing some cool things on the upper level of this Grand Pavilion as well. This is my favorite part of the pavilion. I would love to have windows that overlooked a giant wheel and a very wild mouse. Isn't that so cute? So beautiful. We are here in line for Vale Raven. There was only a 30 minute wait. It looks like we just have this little section and the stairwell to go. So we got ourselves a locker and we're taking advantage of that super low wait time. Plus, I think this is the only roller coaster I'm gonna ride today because this one's pretty smooth. So we're excited for our first roller coaster here at Cedar Point for the season. I also got to ride Orion when we went to Kings Island. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that down for you below here. But basically, these are my favorite types of rides. I like the very smooth, high thrill because you have height, but you don't have that jerky motion. So this is my type of roller coaster. All right, that here at Vale Raven. So we just got off of Vale Raven. The posted wait was 30 minutes, and I'd say we didn't even wait 20, maybe 15 minutes for the ride. So it was perfect timing. We got on and boy, do I love that ride. And we are inside of the Vale Raven gift shop. And as I was mentioning before, if you're looking for ride specific merch, check out the gift shops that are connected to the actual rides. Cause you're gonna find way more selection than just in the main Cedar Point store. They have some newer items. This I'm sure I haven't seen yet. And like they have, this is all embroidered. It's very nice, good quality. This shirt is $29.99. This is a nice sweatshirt. I like the crew neck, so it doesn't have a hood. This is $59.99. And then, of course, they have water bottles and mugs and different things. But right now, because it's the beginning of the season, they're all stocked up. They have lots of really cool Vale Raven merch. Big Squishmallows, which are $32.99. And these are super cute. They even still have Dash, which I think was the top thrill dragster one, so pretty cool. So yesterday when we got to talk to Tony Clark, he mentioned a brand new show that's going to be coming and it's gonna open June 23rd. Let's show you what that's gonna look like. It looks awesome already. The stage, they're still working on it, but this looks so cool. The backdrop is like a sunset and it looks like they're making a grand pavilion. It looks so cool. We love the parade that they had before, so I'm hoping that it's something like that, or maybe it'll be even better. So Summer Bration opens June 23rd, and then also the School's Out Pep Rally, that's gonna start June 3rd. We are walking up to Steel Vengeance, and the wait time is at 30 minutes. We are approaching Maverick and it looks like Maverick is a 45 minute wait, which really is not bad for Maverick because this tends to get one of the longest waits in the park. But so over here by Maverick, they were giving out the fanny packs. So we got our cool t-shirts for the day and now we have our Ohio State Alumni Association fanny packs. The Frontier Inn has handcrafted burgers, pizza, and chicken. The Frontier Inn used to be the location of Chick 
Chick-fil-A. So the partnership that they had with Cedar Point has come to an end and now Cedar Point has taken it back and it is now Frontier Inn. This is what this location was before it was Chick-fil-A. I never have eaten at this establishment, so we're excited to kind of get an idea of what they have. I heard a rumor that the Wagon Wheel Pizza will not be opening this season and this is going to be part of the replacement. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that was the rumor that I have heard. So we're excited to see what offerings they have. If they've got chicken, is it as good as Chick-fil-A? I don't know. This summer, we're definitely gonna try all of the things. But we're gonna pop in right now and just kind of take a peek and see what they're offering. We are walking up the steps here of the Frontier Inn and we're gonna get our first look at the new restaurant. So definitely looks different than it did as Chick-fil-A. On the menu, they have the Trail Blaze, Blaze Cheeseburger and Trail Blaze Burger, along with the Stampede Brat Burger, which is, looks pretty scrumptious. We have the French bread pizzas and the hand breaded boneless wings. So we have chicken, looks pretty good, and steak fries, and the onion rings. The frings aren't out. Yeah. And then a jumbo triple chocolate chip cookie. We're gonna try the Chamberlain's Buckeye Brownie. Looks so scrumptious. And then they have bourbon sauce, garlic parmesan, hot honey, the fixins for the burgers, and giant pickles. In the grab and go section, we have fruit cups, along with salads and a Powerade. As far as the theming goes, it just kind of has like this very simple theme that looks very good. Very clean and fresh in here. They redid the floors. So we found ourselves a spot here. We, If you hear a lot of commotion in the background, that's because we are right next to Maverick where they're loading and loading. So much fun to see. Went into the new restaurant. Now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wait to do a full review of the entire place later on in the season, but there was something that stood out to me and it's this Buckeye Brownie. It's called Chamberlain's Buckeye Brownie. Kind of seemed fitting for today. I'm not sure if this was just a special for today because it's Ohio State Day or if this is something they're gonna have all the time. All right, we're gonna take a second and we're gonna give this brownie the moment it deserves because seriously, this is the best thing I've ever had in the park. So this layer of peanut butter is like a buckeye. So like if you ever had a peanut butter ball or something, that's what we call them in Michigan. It tastes just like a peanut butter buckeye. And then this is like fluffy mousse frosting. And then the most moist brownie you've ever had in your entire life. And it's all combined into one, like outstanding. So on this scrummy scale, as Anna says, it gets a million. Or a seven out of seven if you want to be, if you want to really be proper. So seven out of seven, if you're at Cedar Point, you have to get this. I hope this is a permanent item on their menu. I'm not even sure, I'm gonna find out. But seriously, blown away. Like, so this is Skyhawk. And essentially it's two arms that go up and down. And you at some point go almost completely upside down. It was pretty crazy. All right, real talk with Rachel. I just got off a of Skyhawk for the first time. I've never ridden it before. And it was super fun. I really, my favorite part of the ride is when you're at the very top and you're looking down and you just feel like you're floating, you're free falling. Super cool feeling. However, I was already feeling a little crazy before we went on to Skyhawk and then I got super motion sick after. So my tips for riding Skyhawk. If you're not feeling well or if it's super hot and the condition's not right, maybe take a pass on this ride. But seriously, that is probably more thrilling in my opinion than most of the roller coasters. And this I mean, they have so many good roller coasters here, but like that, in, on Veil Raven, when you like hang for a minute, it's that same type of thrill, but just over and over and over. So cool. Highly recommend it if you like heights and you like that free falling feeling. Actually consider riding this again under 
like my own better conditions. So we're just taking a stroll and the glass blowing theater is open today. So we're gonna go take a peek inside there. That is located here just outside of Frontier Town, between right next to Thunder Canyon, which I admittedly I don't think I've ever done a water ride here at Cedar Point. That might be something I do this summer. Adventure Island is going to be closed permanently and so we're just going to take a peek to see if we can see if there's any like indication of of anything really. I think it's just completely closed and blocked off so it does say the sign is still up for blood on the bayou which was the I believe for the hollow weekends so really I don't see anything over here out of the ordinary just looks like it's just been abandoned. I don't think that they're gonna be opening this up at all this season, which is a real bummer. We're a little sad because we love theming and we love immersion to a story. And Forbidden Frontier gave us that like connection to the park and you just kind of felt very special when you were there, like you're part of the story. So it's a little bit sad that that's not gonna come back, but I know Cedar Point enough to know that when they take one thing away, they always replace it with something even better. And so this year we have the Grand Pavilion and the Boardwalk. So if they're gonna take away the Forbidden Frontier, I'm very glad that they did it after giving us such a wonderful gift of that Boardwalk. So do I think something big is gonna happen here? Personally, I have a feeling that that's gonna be replaced with something real big, something very large and epic. So that's my thought. I don't really have anything to base that on other than the fact that this is Cedar Point and they're always trying to take it to the next level. And that is a prime piece of real estate. So if I were Cedar Point, I'd be putting in something pretty large, if you know what I mean, in that location. Right, it is now around five o'clock in the afternoon and Millennium Force only has about a 30 minute wait. So it's really just like one straight line. You don't have to zigzag back and forth. So it's a really good time. Okay, from the Gaucho and the Gringa, Argentinian and American food, we're going to try their beef empanadas with the spicy sauce. And then from Yes Blue, tacos. We're gonna try some tacos. I think we got beef tacos. So let you know how they are. This is the food trucks that are located right across from the Iron Dragon. Got the beef empanadas. We got two. I believe there were $4.99 a piece. So looks pretty scrumptious. And then we got the spicy sauce to go with them. And then from the other truck, we got tacos. So let's see how these go. Definitely give those empanadas like a five and a half. We're gonna give it a six, just because I think that the chimichurri sauce, the spicy chimichurri sauce put it over the edge for me to make it better. I know empanadas are a little bit simple, but I did like the crunch on these. And they did have more of like a wonton flavored wrap to them instead of sometimes they're real doughy. So I kind of liked that. It made it very crispy, crunchy. Now we're gonna try to talk now. So there's kind of an inside shot there. Hopefully it'll fall out. Of the tacos. I'm gonna give the tacos a five out of seven scrummies. I think that they're a great option if you like tacos. They're not anything crazy out of the ordinary, but 
they were good and they were a pretty good price if you get three of them and so again if you're not on the meal plan and you're just looking for something quicker this didn't have a line compared to some of the places in the park that did again it's a nice quick bite to eat option and we're gonna give that a five out of seven scrubbies all right everyone so i just wanted to show you i got a new sweatshirt got the wild mouse sweatshirt it was $52.99. Remember, if you do have a pass, a season pass, to get your season pass discount on all of your merch. And then they did have, it says Cedar Point on the sleeve. I think that the Wild Mouse is always going to mean something to me because we got that opportunity to ride it. So I just have a special relationship now with the Wild Mouse. It's always going to be one of my favorite things. Just, it's so awesome. So, today was great. If you're ever thinking about coming for the Ohio State Day, I would highly recommend it. For a season pass holder this year, it was $25 for us to attend. And really, we had walk-ons all day. We were able to do the rides. Secretly, I don't want any of you to come because I want it to be like this all the time selfishly. But also, it is a great event. If you happen to be an Ohio State fan, or if you're friends with someone who's an Ohio State fan, or anyone really, I would recommend this day. I enjoyed getting my face painted. We got lots of cool Ohio State merch. And then we went on rides that normally we wouldn't ride as a stranger in the background. So, definitely had a great day. And if you can make it to an Ohio State day or a private event like this, definitely worth your money in my opinion. Even as a pass holder, I know that tomorrow's opening day and that would be included with my pass, but it is going to be packed because it's a Saturday and it's the first day of the season. Opening day is always amazing, but this was really, really special and I'm really glad we were able to attend. So if you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so because it is the absolute biggest compliment you can give us and we will see you in our next video. Goodbye!